Welcome to the Do This Week video for August 31st. Let's start off with Scout Agent of World, number two. Alice Ever After, number five. Fun book. Then Oni Press. Can't believe they've been around for 25 years, but this is a 25th anniversary. We've got Blink, number two. This is, uh, this is one that I just needed to... To show, but we got quite a few damages, as you can tell, uh, the the back corners. But um, it is out. We'll probably get. We'll probably get next week. We'll get the the good ones. We have breakout number three. Broken Souls Ballad number three. Cradle of Filth number two. This book is bagged. There has to be some sort of filth going on inside this bag. And if you notice, the covers, the covers blocked off. And it wasn't, it wasn't like solicited to say, hey, there's gonna be a nudity on the cover. I think they just said we can't put this out. That should sell. A great cover here for Frank Frazetta's Death Dealer, number four. Really good AWA book, Devil's Highway, Volume 2, Number 4. Yeah, there's a, there's a decent Aftershock book, Dogs of London, Number 4. I see a trend going on here. Dungeons and Dragons, Number 3. And we've got Florida Man number one. The first, uh, the last issue, it must have been zero, was uh, was a fun was a fun book. Forever Forward number one. This is a pretty cool looking cover. Hell Cop number ten. House of Slaughter number eight. And the Joneses, number five. Let's finish up this uh, miniseries. We've also got Knights of the Fifth Dimension, number three. From Advent Comics, Legend and the Vanguard, number one. And Mark, Mark Miller's Magic Order, number two. This is the third volume of this book. And we've got Chip Zdarsky's Trade Paperback Newburn, Volume 1. Source Point Press, Noah, Not Otherwise, otherwise Authorized, Number 1. Nottingham, Number 10. The Ocean Will Take Us, Number 5. And these covers are all freaky. All three. This is the third issue of Playthings. Number three. They got some freaky looking covers. Redman. Number three. Something that Rick Remender is actually writing that's good right now. Um, Scumbag. Volume three of the trade paper trade paperback. We've got Star Trek Picard, number one. TMNT, Best of Baxter Stockman, number one. We Only Find Them When They're Dead, number 13. Dead's not on the front cover, but I just happen to know what it was. Even Boom has the problems. And West of Sundown. I'll look at the back cover so we can find this. Number five. I'm okay. It's, a, it's, a, it's a, like a movie picture thing. You don't put a number on it. That's okay. You don't want to take away from that. So they won't get they won't get ragged on this week. It's a great week for DC. I mean, we're talking you know, five books. There's a couple others, but I've already sold out. They were just pretty much ordered, ordered to uh, 
order to sell through. But this is this is what this is what I have for today for DC. The Flash Annual Love on the Run. Harley Quinn Annual. Sandman Night Sandman Nightmare Country number five. Superman War World Apocalypse number one. Now this is um the this is the uh, the final story, the final issue of the story that's been running in um, Action Comics. So if you've been reading the Action books, ask your ask your store for this for this because um, this finishes it up. Or if you're reading Action and you really hate the story, then don't buy this crap. And we're gonna finish off DC with Wonder Girl Annual. Man, that was painless this week. No Batman. We can move on. I don't know the purpose of this book. I'm going to bring it home and look at it anyways. I mean, it's Spider-Man, but Amazing Fantasy 1000. Featuring Spider-Man. I don't know where the thousand number comes from, because I think if you even add up all the amazing Spider-Man books and the few amazing fantasy books that come up, I don't think it adds to a thousand. So, um, I have no idea where they got where they got the number in, nor do I care. What are they, I mean, it's an oversized Spider-Man book. Just make, just say, hey, we're going to do an oversized Spider-Man one-shot. Now, don't do anything fancy. And there's like 15 different covers too far. But, it's only $8.00. Not the usual 10 that they usually try to suck you in for. So, I don't know. I like Spidey. I'll bring it home. Ant-Man, number two. Deadpool Bad Blood, number four. Fortnite Zero War, number four. You'll be getting some other skin or, I don't know, a piece of equipment in uh, code in this in this book. Gambit number two. Iron Fist number five. Knights of X number five. Well, this, this is a book that people have been clamoring for. Uh, Mech Strike Monster Hunters number three. Moon Knight Black White Blood number four. Very good selling book. Star Wars Obi Wan number four. Uh, Thunderbolts Marvel Tales number one. This is this is reprinting. This is reprinting. Um, I think the Hulk where they first appeared in, and a couple of the first uh, first three issues of the original Thunderbolts. Uh, what a great series this was! If you never had a chance to read it, um, I mean. Pick this up. At least, at least you'll get a taste of what Kirk Busiek's Thunderbolts was all about. And that leads into the new Thunderbolts number one. Not by Kirk Busiek, by Jeff Zub. Or Jed Zub, or Jim Zub. Who knows? But uh, we'll, we'll see if this, if this book's any good. It's got a few good characters in it. The Variants number three. A little She-Hulk action on the, on the cover. George Double R. Martins, Wildcats, number two. X Force, number 31. And X Men, number 14. So that pretty much sums up, uh, the, finishes up this week's for, for new books. There's some, there's some interesting things out there. Um,. I think there's a little bit here for everyone that may, that, you know, they, you can find something you like. Uh, but, hey, thanks for watching the show, and I'll see you next week.